Uh, well, I, I can I can say pretty uh, confidently that there was no beer scene in the United States uh, when I got started. Um, you know, I uh, I was drinking beer in college just like everybody else, and uh, we drank beer. We didn't like it, but we drank it. It was what you did there. You drank everything. Um, and I still remember Tuesdays, kamikaze night at Molly's. You know, we, we drank every single thing. And I, I, you know, I will tell the truth, we drank Budweiser when we had money. Because at least it was very clean. It had, it, it had, it had almost no flavor. <laughs> And, uh, and compared to the beers that we could afford, almost no flavor was really good because the other ones were, they tasted terrible. Um, and so that was what I thought beer was until I moved to the UK. You know, in 1983, I was stage managing rock bands. And on the side, I was going to the pub and I discovered this stuff called beer. You know, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Had all kinds of flavors and aromas and everything else. And then I went traveling uh, uh, all around Europe. I went to France first, actually. Uh, actually, no, it was Belgium first, then France. So I uh, landed at Oostend. I remember the first time having Creek and having Lambique and having all these things. And then I went down to France, you know, and uh, I remember sitting in, uh, you know, I, I, I was uh, the typical American at uh, Versailles with my bottle of uh, Jean Lin, which was different in 1983, it was uh, really, uh, and um, I think I was probably eating Le Vache qui rit, uh, <laughs> because I didn't know anything about cheese, uh, you know, and I had a baguette under my arm, I thought I was really cool, uh, and I was like, wow, this is really great, that was all the food I could afford, was a baguette and some Le Vache qui rit and one bottle of beer. And then, uh, you know, I was around Germany and I saw Weissbier for the first time. And I didn't even, wasn't even sure I liked it. it. Like it tastes like bananas, but the glass is really cool, you know. And then, you know, I went to Czech Republic, which for an American, you know, in these days was really kind of heavy um, because it was still really communist. And so, uh, and then I got home, end of 1984, and they said, Bud, Bud Light, Miller, Miller Light. Heineken, you know, you know, and then later, of course. And you knew you had to do something. I had to do something. You know, there was, uh, I was like, I was like, you know, like, oh no. You know, like, I, like, I, know I, I can't, like, I, I can't do this anymore. So I started making beer at home to have some beer. It was the only way to get some. And that's really hard for younger people now to understand, you know. Uh, we, we, we basically lived in the matrix, you know, you know that something is wrong, but you don't know what it is. Something disturbs you every day, and like, what is the question, you know? And one day, you get shown that the matrix is not real, you know, and that this is not your real life, and your real life looks like this, you know, and it's beautiful. Um, and so I started brewing at home, you know, to have the beer. And then I fell in love with making it. And uh, it's been a, a, a long, cool journey. That was 1984. And then 1989, I went to work for, uh, uh, for Manhattan Brewing Company. So the head brewer for Samuel Smith, who now lives in France. Uh, you, know, he lives in, uh, you know, he lives in the south of France. Hi, Mark. Uh, Mark Witte. Uh, so uh, I went to work for him as his apprentice. And I was his apprentice for five years. I learned the professional side of brewing. Uh, and then he moved to California, and I took over as the head brewer for Manhattan Brewing Company. And uh, I started doing my own things, and uh, you know, people started to know me. And, uh, and so I went to Brooklyn Brewery in 94. And uh, it's been a fascinating journey ever since, just uh, you know, growing what we were doing and, uh, you know, arriving here today uh, 21 years later. Well, what I find is that every European country, well, every country has its own unique way of coming to craft brewing. Uh, the end result is the same, but how they get there is different. 